Uh, my name is Melody Zhang. Um, I am originally from Michigan, um, but I currently uh, live and work in Washington, D.C. Uh, so I work currently as a uh, climate justice coordinator at Sojourners. We are a faith-based advocacy organization um, and magazine that uh, focuses on peace and justice issues um, in the U.S. I went to school studying environmental studies um, and I had a very rudimentary understanding of um, how environmental science connects with um, social issues. Um, but I went to school half an hour away from uh, Flint, Michigan, and it was during the time when the Flint water crisis was unfolding. And so I just remember sitting in my environmental policy classes um, and just learning about what seemed like very um, wrote ideas and um, thoughts that were very removed and abstract um, while literally half an hour away. Um, uh, my neighbors were literally, um, you know, being drinking poisoned water um, for um, years before the mainstream media picked it up. And so that was really when um, the understanding of environmental justice hit home for me. Um, and I became really passionate about how environmental issues um, affected um, people issues. Right now, uh, we are focusing on um, cultivating um, and connecting a network of churches um, that are in five states um, in the U.S., which are Florida, Georgia, uh, DMV, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Ohio, um, and um, cultivating this network of churches um, that would act as um, advocates on a regular basis um, on peace and justice issues, um, and specifically um, to really um, develop uh, leaders from the grassroots up who are already very interested in um, creation care and stewardship um, and um, caring for our earth um, just on a daily basis, perhaps already involved um, with earth keeping practices in their church, such as like recycling or um, composting and um, that kind of thing, but really trying to walk alongside them to push them uh, to become climate advocates and to get involved politically um, on climate action because we're seeing that um, that that kind of um, political involvement is really necessary in uh, today's age. So we're really trying to push um, people of faith to, um, to practice public discipleship um, by not only just doing like little things to um, better their church, but really um, push people to become politically active when it comes to climate action. Um, as we see how it plays out in politics today, climate change seems to be um, a very partisan issue still, and uh, there are um, people um, who deny that climate change is still happening. Um, I think that's really become part of um, the, the rhetoric for um, conservative um, evangelicals even and conservatives in Congress. Um, and I think that um, we are really here to set out to debunk that myth because um, climate change is an issue that affects both sides of the aisle and um, that Republicans and Democrats alike should care about um, because people of faith identify as both of those. Um, that's kind of the, the motivation for us to really um, activate um, a, um, a powerful grassroots movement of um, people of faith who care about climate change also.